hello friends welcome to cortex youtube channel in the last video i have talked about how to interpret uh, lft report so in this video i am going to teach uh, how to practically interpret lft with a real case example so let's begin this is an lft of a patient uh, presented to us so here let's look at the bilirubin components bilirubin all, all the parameters are within normal limits okay and look at the enzymes what happened to SGOTPT? they are obviously raised and the look at the pattern here pt is more than the ot that is alt is more than the uh, ast we will come to that later so here alp is normal and uh, proteins are okay normal albumin is okay globulin is okay age ratio is also okay so all are within normal limits so only uh, thing is the problem is here enzymes are that is your amino transferases are raised this is called as transaminitis so here transaminitis is there so elevated ast bar alt is there so whenever you get this transaminitis you have to see whether ast is more than alt or alt is more than ast so in this case uh, alt is more than ast that is your uh, pt is more than sorry pt is more than ast ot your alt is more than ast okay so i have talked in detail about approach uh, in the last video the link of which will be in the description you can see and watch that and learn how to interpret the uh, lft in detail uh, we will restrict to this lft now so whenever you get this pattern you have to see whether they are raised in uh, what is the absolute value whether they are less than 150 or more than 1000 so in this the absolute values are both are below 150 so the values are 150 so less than 150 means you have to consider few uh, differential diagnoses so, so what are those differential diagnoses one is NAFLD non-alcoholic fat liver disease another one is chronic viral hepatitis and uh, another one is your chronic form of Wilson's disease hereditary hemochromatosis next is your uh, um, autoimmune chronic form of autoimmune autoimmune hepatitis so these are the few conditions uh, where you get a raised transaminitis so there is the ra uh, raised uh, tra amino transferases levels and the pattern is alt more than ast so in this case when we started working up the patient was not diabetic not obese and uh, she uh, sorry that person that patient was positive for uh hepatitis virus let's look at the viral load now. so the patient had patient was positive for the hcv rna and thus look at the viral load what is this viral load see look at one crores it is in one crores so it is in crores so one crores 62 lakhs 58,767 international unit per ml so uh, this level warrants the antiviral therapy so this patient was started on antiviral therapy so this is hcv chronic hcv infection so hope you understood how to uh, interpret this real case lft and hope you like this video if you like it please share and subscribe yeah, before ending yeah before ending i would like to give you a homework look at take a look at this lft report and answer below pause the video pause the video and answer below in the comment section